Okay, so let's look at interpolations. Uh, in, in, interpol <laughs> interpolations. In, interpolate. Now, pretty much everything in our in everything we do is going to be based off some basic variables in some aspect, right? So I can interpolate a value. Now, a lot of people are used to say seeing tween. Pretty much the same thing. So let's make a value. We'll call this a value a, and we want to interpolate from zero to say five over you know 10 seconds and if we watch it's exactly what it'll do it, it it's going to go there and then stop pretty cool right and you can run finish events on that as well right like let's take that time down a bit let's take him up to you know 15 and do a some sort of done thing and now it's you know it, just over time it, it it's interpolating it right and then it goes so so those are great for if you want to um for example set position this is kind of a good one uh let's set position so it's it's a vector and there there is a vector interplate as well um, but you can also do it with a float right so let's set the position of I don't know, let's make a cube Boop, there's a cube so let's set the position of this cube on its y to a world space every frame All right so now Yeah, that was really poor of me to not have that lined up better right so now I can see that it's well it's at yeah, I should probably put that at zero to start with eh? all right now let's hit play so we're interpolating the Y up over X amount of time to 15 there you go now it's at 15 so interpolations are extremely useful um, they're just they're, they're wonderful they're a wonderful wonderful little tool so what so some of the things that I seen um, is lots of times I don't use these as solid values I'll, I'll, I'll use these as variables right so for example um, get position let's get the position first move that to the top and I'm gonna get the Y and we're gonna call this Y so we're gonna get the position Y and we're gonna go from Y uh, let's do a float operator put it below that but above the interpolation let's get y add 15 and store it as uh, I'll use a variable called set so let's get y and go to set over five seconds meanwhile let's set our position on the y to this stored value which is a All right so now I hit play and oh, what do we? Oh, whoops! Silly me! I'm using get position of myself, but I'm setting position of the cube. I should probably have done that a little smarter. So let's get position of the cube, add 15, and then we're going to interpolate it upwards. Right, so now we interplate it up and it hits 15 it stops but if I start it again it goes from where it left off because it's getting its position and then adding 15 it interplates to that every time so sometimes um, like for example if I do the same thing 
and it just goes back and forth. Um, this guy, actually no, how do we want to do this now? Let's, let's not do the get position. Let's do, uh, let's, let's move them on. This is, this is, this, this will actually help you out a lot in the future. This little tidbit of information I'll just give you. So I'm going to interpolate, uh, from Y to 10 over five seconds store as a, okay. And I'm not going to use the done event. And I'm going to set position on its, this time I'm going to use its X to the A every frame. Now, with that said, I want to get mouse button down. And if I hit it, we're going to use the done event then. And what I'm going to do is I want that same thing. I might as well take them all. Now, one of the issues you'll have that's probably quite common <coughs> is this interplates from a value to a value, right? And which, I mean, sounds easy enough to say, but <coughs> if I hit that button, I could end it long before this is finished. So we're not going to be at, you know, a set value. So what I want to do is I'm going to, from here, I want to go from A to, we'll say, 0, store into A. Okay. And then we'll also use the done if we click the mouse button. And here we're going to go from A, store into A. So we're using the same variable twice. All right. So... Okay, there we are there and if I click the mouse button it goes there I click it it goes back right so we're just going back and forth but if I double click it as you see he's he's not jumping uh, like snapping to a certain position he's going from wherever he is and interpolating it from there right so that's super sneaky and that's you're, you're going from a value and you're storing into that value. It's a very sneaky little trick right there. So those are interpolations.